When Scott came in, he had ankle pain. He told me the things that he was involved in and things that he enjoyed doing was uh, he enjoyed playing soccer um, and get, he wanted to really get back into those activities and this pain in his ankle was holding him back. He wanted to also get back into having that time with his son. And when Scott first came in, his presentation was this had been ongoing for a year and just getting worse uh, in his ankle and he was very active in sports. He also recalled that he rolled his ankle several times um, while playing sports. And so in the back of my mind, this isn't getting better. It's only getting worse. It's in his ankle um, and the x-rays were negative. So right away, I wanted to get an MRI um, to see if there was anything going on that the x-ray wasn't picking up, such as soft tissue injury or a cartilage injury inside of the ankle. Um, so that we could further evaluate that because sometimes those things won't get better with any conservative treatment and he's a very active individual. I wanted to get him back playing as soon as possible. So we first got the MRI and when the results came back as a osteochondral defect, which is a, a cartilage defect of his, um, an integral part of that ankle that um, helps him to move. That is not something that typically gets better conservatively and uh, needs, needs intervention, especially someone as healthy and active as Scott is. It's better to treat that surgically right off the bat. The first time we did surgery, uh, we did it through an ankle scope and um, we did what's called a microfracture procedure, which is typically the first thing we do with an osteochondral defect. And so that's, that's what I do and most people get better after doing that. It's uh, not, as, not as invasive of a technique as opening up the ankle and cutting through bone to get to the defect that needs to be addressed and, um, and fracturing. So we tried that first and um, after months of rehabilitation it felt good at first but then it came back and it wasn't getting better. We tried physical therapy. Uh, we really try to make that work. It, it takes a dedicated individual to get through this and Scott was really dedicated to, to go through with the treatment and the physical therapy afterwards and um, he was a real champion through all of this but he still wasn't getting better. So we got a repeat MRI and it showed that the defect was not better but actually is only worse uh, which rarely happens but it happened with Scott. And when I told him the news, he took it well, even though that's really difficult news to take. Um, as a surgeon as well, I'm, I was not happy with that getting worse for him. I really want him to get back into playing with his son again and that that held him back. It, it holds me back too. We decided to go back into surgery with a different approach because the location of where he had this injury um, can go south really fast and could lead to a fusion of his ankle versus an ankle replacement which is a major surgery that can really hold him up and it left us unsure as to what that would leave him as far as functionality to get back into soccer. So uh, he was agreeable to try this um, other approach um, that I had in mind for him in that part of the uh, ankle which was to go behind his lesion and to fill it with uh, a type of bone cement that it mixed with his with his bone marrow to help fill in this lesion so that it could relieve his pain but also heal that area of bone that doesn't get a lot of blood supply and um, uh, going in the second time he got a lot better uh, pain relief with this and but it was not only that it was more lasting and he went through physical therapy again and he was back playing soccer and um, playing with his son and that part made, made it all worth it for me but for him as well he said he, I remember him saying how happy he was and made videos of him uh, playing soccer and, and that just makes my day when he's able to get back with his son and, and do what he wanted to do and, and get through everything. Mm -hmm.